if you're a big fan of foods tasting different types of them so you should learn some useful idioms about eating hello everyone i am bahar and welcome to another english lesson with me today's video is about 11 funny and useful idioms that you have to know while you're eating something well, it is a good idea to guess each of these idioms meanings before i start explaining their definitions actually you can use these idioms in so many different places restaurants or wherever you want to eat something well you just need to stay with me up until the end and keep watching my video make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so that would help me to make more fabulous videos for you now let's dive in let's watch it learn it the first idiom is spoil your appetite it means to eat something that makes you feel no longer hungry so if you are going to eat something like a chocolate before lunch or dinner, you are spoiling your appetite. If you want me to give you an example, I would say my son is eating too many candies. I am definitely sure that it would spoil his appetite. Now you don't want that, it'll spoil your appetite. I don't want to spoil my appetite now let's talk about the opposite side i mean work up an appetite when you work up an appetite it means you're doing something that makes you feel hungry for an example you go for a walk or you exercise so that will make you feel a little bit hungry for an example i am not hungry i think i need to exercise if i want to work up an appetite work up an appetite Good. I need to work up an appetite first. Let's move on to the third idiom. It is, eat like a bird. This idiom might be a little bit funny and hilarious for you, but sometimes it is true. It means someone who eats very, very little. That we can tell them that they are eating like a bird. For instance, my daughter eats like a bird. That's why she is so skinny and thin. You eat like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one is actually the opposite side of the last idiom that we learned. It is, it's like a horse. Well, I'm not sure that it makes sense when we are talking about horses, but I think horses eat that much that we can say someone is eating like a horse. It means someone who eats a lot. For an example, my older brother eats like a horse that last night he made me feel embarrassed in front of my friends. The next idiom is kind of similar to the last idiom that we talked about. It is so hungry that once could eat a horse. I know it's kind of weird and funny, but sometimes it may be true. Because it means someone who is very hungry or starving. And I want to give you an example from a moment that I have experienced it. After my family and I came back from a long trip, we were so hungry that we could eat a horse. It is a good idea to make sentence with each of these idioms. Also, you can comment down below your examples. It would definitely help you to memorize and learn them better. So hungry, I could eat a horse. Oh boy, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. The next idiom is used when you want to talk about your favorite meal. It is one's heart's desire. If you say a meal is your heart's desire, it means you want that meal very much. In fact, you can use this idiom for your favorite person that you love and desire too. For instance, Italian pizza is my heart's desire that I can eat it every night and day. As I said, you can use it for a person that means a lot to you. You can say, after a long trip in London, 
My only heart's desire is to see my family again. Wine and dine someone. It means to treat or entertain someone with expensive meal of the type that includes fine wines. In order to make that person feel enjoy, satisfied or entertained. For example, my boss told me he is our special client. Make sure to wine and dine him at dinner. And everything went great that night. Blame her. So now you want to wine and dine her? The next useful idiom is wash something down. Can you take a look at this picture and tell me the meaning of this idiom? Well, to wash something down means to drink something while you're eating, so that can help you to swallow the food. For an example, after I finished eating a big cheeseburger, I ordered a Coke so it could wash it down. Wash it down with a Gibson. And idiom number 10. Grab a bite. It means to get a food that can be eaten very quickly. As you may know, the word bite in this idiom refers to food. You can use this idiom whenever you're in a hurry, actually you're starving. So it is a smart way to grab a bite. For an example, when you're in a hurry, your mom would say, hurry up, we need to grab a bite before we start packing for the trip. Grab a bite from Burner Nirvana. And the last but not least, it is Bon Appetit. Bon Appetit. This phrase is originally from French. When you're wishing someone to enjoy their meal or what they are going to eat, you can tell them bon appetit. In another word, it means good appetite. For an example, the waitress brought us our meal and he told me bon appetit with a smiley face. Ah, bon appetit, petit chien. Okay everyone, that was it for today's video. Try to make more sentences with these idioms if you want to learn them faster. And we can check the sentences together, maybe there would be any errors so we can correct them together. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video if this video was helpful for you. And yeah, that was it for today's video. Thank you, goodbye, have a nice day.